Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number one. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along Business 210 Chapter 00 Intro to Excel, you got to go to my college website. For those of you in the class officially, you have to download this and follow along. Hey, <clears throat> in this first video, we're just going to introduce ourselves to Excel. Hey, why are we using Excel for statistics anyway? Hey, because we want to get a job. That's why, because everyone requires that you use Excel when you're making calculations and data analysis. Hey, those are the two main things you do in Excel also, calculations and data analysis. But first, we're going to use Excel 2007. So we got to take a little tour. I have a little list here of the things we're going to tour through in 2007. And then we're going to look at the main uh, things that Excel does, calculate, data analysis, and charts, and then a few other things. Now, the first thing is in Excel 2007, we don't have menus or toolbars anymore. Like in earlier versions, we have ribbons. Now, I have my ribbons turned off, but you can see Home, Insert, Page, Layout. I'm going to turn them off and on. Control F1. Control F1. That toggles the ribbons on and off. If I click on this Home right here, we can start and look at the ribbons. The Home ribbon has the most common items used. Now, my screen is uh, very small here, and that's why I'll usually have my ribbons turned off. Also, if you have full screen, then you'll be able to see lots of things in the style group. If I expand the window here, you can see that um, it shows conditional formatting, uh, format as table, cells, styles. But I'm always going to have mine pretty small here so I can fit uh, enough stuff on the screen. We actually probably won't use the ribbons a lot in Excel 2007. We'll, most of our statistics calculation will be done in the sheet with formulas and pivot tables and things like that. Home ribbon, most common things. Clipboard, things like copy and paste. Font, things like font and cell color. You can see there's a cell color red here. Alignment. Number tab, very important. There's the comma style, the accounting, uh, dollar sign style, and the percentage format, as well as increase and decrease decimal. Um, styles on conditional formatting cells. Editing, very important. There is an insert function right here. There's a sorting. Even though there is a formulas ribbon, there's a, a quick way to get to function. And even though sorting is a main thing we do in data analysis, it has its own ribbon right here. There's a sorting button because these are so common. There's also clear, clear all formats and content. The next ribbon, insert, we will be using. There's lots of things you can insert. The main one we're going to be using is charts and pivot tables. Page layout, we won't be doing a lot of this, although it is important. Notice that this is the page layout ribbon. This is the page setup group. Here's margins. That's an icon inside of this group inside of this ribbon. Down here in the corner, this is called a dialog launcher. If you click it, you can get to your page setup. This has everything to do with page setup. I'm going to click Cancel. Our formulas ribbon uh, will be mostly using this button right here, Insert Function. Whereas this is called the ribbon, this is called the formula bar. That's the insert function button, and we'll be using that to get our functions. And right here, you'll be able to see your formula as you're typing it in a cell. Define names, we'll get to use that, and same with formula auditing. Data analysis, the data ribbon, we'll be doing things like sort. Review things like spelling, view. Some uh, different ways to view your workbook. Developer, you probably don't have that one. That's one I added special. The next thing we want to look at is the OR. This is called the OR. This has things like new, open, save, save as, print. The next thing we want to look at, I'll click Escape. Actually, I'm glad that didn't go away. This is the most important part of the OR, Excel options. And we will actually get to look at that uh, in this first video just a bit. I'm going to click Escape to turn that um, orb list off. This is the QUAT, the Quick Access Toolbar. Now it comes with the Save, Undo, and Redo, but you can add any one of your buttons. Hey, watch this. I'm going to Control F1. I'm going to click on Insert and then click on Home. Then click on Insert. If you very quickly like to do things like on the Home ribbon, 
add color to the cell or add a dollar sign or percentage format. Sometimes it takes more clicks to go to the ribbon and then click on the thing. So there's a very easy way to add things to the quick access toolbar or the quat. And in essence, you can construct your own toolbar like in earlier versions. I'm going to point to this fill bucket and right click add to quick access toolbar. Boop. Just like that, it's there. I'm going to click back on the home and this comma style, right click, add to quick access toolbar. Very convenient. The other thing about the Quat is you can go and add any button. There's about a thou over a thousand features in Excel, and not all of the things from earlier versions made it into the ribbon. So here's how you add any button you want. Right click, customize quick access toolbar. Customize comes up. You can see this is Excel Options. This is the Excel Options area. We could have alternatively gotten to this through the OR. Over here under Choose Commands From, select All, All Commands. And then there they are, all thou over a 1,000 commands. If you were looking for the Form button, you'd click on the list and hit F to jump to the Fs. And then you'd search through and try and find your Form button. You could click on it and then click Add. At the bottom over here, you have to click OK. And sure enough, your Form button. So that's how you add your own buttons. Um, so that's a little bit about the ribbon, the quat, and the orb. Over here is the scroll bar. You can scroll and move your sheet back and forth. These are sheet tabs. We have an intro to Excel. Here's the keyboard shortcuts. It's a great list of keyboard shortcuts. Here's calculating. So to move between she sheets, you could click you with your mouse on each sheet. To rename a sheet, you would right click and point to rename. Right clicking is a great trick because you can right click pretty much anything and it will give you a context sensitive menu. So you can rename and then type it. I'm going to click escape because I don't want to rename it. Now I got to show you a keyboard shortcut to move through. Actually, let me show you these. These move the sheet tabs, but not the selected. So as I uh, click this arrow right here, I see more sheet tabs, but that first sheet tab is still selected. This goes all the way to the end. This goes all the way to the front. Notice that that was always selected. There's a better way to do this, Control and then Page Up and Page Down. You got to find your page up and page down. They're over in between your normal keypad and your number keypad are the navigation keys, the arrows, which are very important. And above that is home and end and page up and page down. I want you to hold control and then hit page down. That's a very convenient way to move through the sheets. And then when you get to the end, you can control page up. And in our workbooks for this class, there's going to be lots of sheets. We're working on the intro to Excel sheet right now. Now what about the sheet ex itself? B, that's a letter. C, that's a letter. Letters designate columns. One, two, three. Notice I'm clicking on the row headers or the column headers. Numbers represent rows. The intersection of a column and a row is a cell. That's B2. I have it typed right there. Actually, there's a tricky formula there saying that that's B2. But notice up here, this is the name box. If you put your cursor, it'll also tell you what name that cell is. Now, all the cells in our sheet, there's a lot of them in 2007. There's 17 billion. That's called a worksheet. This is the sheet tab, and the name of this worksheet is called Intro to Excel. If I click right here, the name of this worksheet is Keyboard Shortcuts. Back here to Intro to Excel, all of the sheets are called a workbook. And up here, you could see the name is Business 210, Chapter 00, Intro to Excel, .xl. SM. That is the name of the workbook. This is a new extension, .xlsm, and there's xlsx. The M means you're allowed to have code. The X means you're not allowed to have code. Amazing new file format that saves space and is more universally understood. Now, we have uh, three main things we're going to cover. I'm going to click with my control page down on keyboard shortcuts. There's a great list there. And in this class, we're going to learn a lot of them. And there's a big list for you. Control page down. Excel is made for calculating. Control page down. Excel is made for data analysis. Control page down. There's two sheets for data analysis, things like pivot tables. 
Control page down, I get to charts. That's another main aspect of Excel. Control page down, then we're going to cover cell references. Control page down, then formatting, and then percent calculations. I'm going to control page up. And when we come back, we will talk about our first main area of Excel, Intro to Excel, calculating. See you next video.